patterns making a very, very, very long transit. I'm in drikpanchang.com. I have three years opened. My God. 2024, 2025, and 2026. So, here are the dates. This is as per German time. It would be same if you are in India or any other part of the world. So, currently, as of today, 17th February 2024, Saturn is in Shatupisha Nakshatra. And on 6th of April, it will enter Purva Bhadrapada Nakshatra. Then it will go retrograde. Then on 3rd October, it will again enter Shatabisha Nakshatra. And then it will go direct. And then on 27th December 2024, it will re-enter Purva Bhadrapada Nakshatra. Then let's go to next year. Then on 28th April 2025 next year, it will enter Uttar Bhadrapada Nakshatra again. And then again it will be retrograde. <clears throat> and it will enter Purva Bhadrapada on 3rd of October 2025. And then 2026... It will again go direct after retrogression and enter Uttar Bhadrapada on 20th January 2026. 20th January 2026. So, essentially, you will feel the Purva Bhadrapada energy from 6th of April 2024 till 20th of January 2026. Wow, this is one hell long transit. <laughs> this is a very interesting transit because Purva Bhadrapada is a very, uh, it's a very uh, interesting nakshatra which can go either ways. But why do I say this is interesting? Not because of the nakshatra, but because of the presence of the planet Saturn in this nakshatra. We all know what Saturn is. Wherever Saturn transits in whichever nakshatra, things slow down in that particular nakshatra. Now, what does this mean? This means if a particular nakshatra has too many highs and too many lows, just like Purva Bhadrapada. Classic example. Too many highs, too many lows. Then what happens is Saturn, Shani Maharaj comes there and he will suppress both the highs and both the lows. He will try to minimize. Which means you may not be too excited nor you may be too depressed because you may see that things are eventually going to work out in their own time. Okay, so before things are destined, it will not work. So therefore, almost two year long transit this is around 21 22 months so of course in between it will go uh, to and fro in other nakshatras but you need to understand that this transit will carry the energy till 2026 all right so therefore you need to understand what purva bhadrapada is purva bhadrapada is the nakshatra which is ruled by jupiter now, Jupiter ruled nakshatras are challenging, contrary to Saturn ruled nakshatras. Okay. Why in the universe are Jupiter ruled nakshatras so challenging, especially Purva Bhadrapada? It's a very challenging nakshatra. <clears throat> See, whenever you hear the word challenge, you have to understand what it is. Okay. You cannot just dismiss it by saying, oh, it's a bad nakshatra. Okay, you, you can't just dismiss it like that. You have to understand what it is actually. So, the Jupiter nakshatras are a junction between the Rahu nakshatras and the Saturn nakshatras, right? So, for example, currently, as of today, as I said, Saturn is in Shatavisha nakshatra. So, who rules Shatavisha? We know, right? Rahu rules Shatavisha. Then Purva Bhadrapada is Jupiter ruled. Then Uttar Bhadrapada is Saturn ruled. Which means, uh, try to think what Rahu is and try to think what Saturn is. Rahu is this obsession which tells you, oh, I'll be the king of the universe. I will be all in all. Rahu is this perfect, 
persona of narcissism that exists within the core of everybody's heart. There's a lot of discussion on narcissism these days. Empaths, narcissists, sociopaths, psychopaths. But the truth is every human being is narcissistic to, to some extent. <laughs> but when that narcissism uh, crosses such an extent that uh, that becomes a primary trait of your life because narcissism is a combination of uh, so many personality traits okay but when these traits become so high in you that they start defining you and you start defining yourself by that then you are classified as a narcissist by somebody or by nobody or by god or by yourself okay so therefore <clears throat> Everybody has large degree of narcissism within themselves because everybody thinks they are special. Everybody thinks they are better than others. Okay, Or you may think you are inferior to others. You are not better than others. But that is also apparently inferiority complex. But it is still another side of superiority complex because it's because both inferiority and superiority complexes are product of self-obsession. And self-obsession is maybe the most primary, primeval uh, trait <clears throat> of a narcissist. They are very self-obsessed, right? Self-absorbed and eventually self-obsessed. So therefore, you have to you have to understand that Jupiter rule nakshatras are the nakshatras which come after Rahu, which means they break this self-obsession. They break this thing. They break this endless journey of obsession that we have with ourselves. And that is why they are very tough. And once that obsession is broken, then Saturn rule nakshatras come. They are much, much, much more milder. And they are much more uh, calmer. They are much more uh, mature. Okay, so... It does not mean that just because uh, it is Jupiter rule nakshatra, it will make things easy for you. Okay. So when Saturn transits Purva Bhadrapada, you have to understand that there may be uh, traits of narcissism which you may see within yourself. Now, this can manifest in various ways, like depending on the uh, chart, depending on your ascendant, your lagna, your rising sign. It will be decided on uh, which area of life will you see narcissism. <clears throat> so, for example, uh, if you, if Saturn is lording your tenth house, for example, which means if you are a Aries or <clears throat> Taurus lagna, then uh, it surely means that you can develop narcissism towards uh, your profession, which means. You may think you are very special at work. You may have a lot of success. And eventually you may have a lot of failures. Because Purva Bhadarpada gives you this tendency to go very high. And then fall. See, if you, if somebody falls from the first floor. <laughs> imagine, unfortunately, some if, if something happens. <clears throat> most of the people will get injury. Very severe injury. There can also be a death. But most likely not. Depending on the situation, of course. But imagine if somebody falls from the 10th floor. What are the probabilities of that person surviving? Okay. If there's any doctor or anybody who is experienced in this area, you can comment below. And also, because this transit will happen in April, I would be very happy if you tell me if you are seeing symptoms from now itself. So... Please write it down in the comments. Where is your Saturn? What are you feeling now? Are you feeling too obsessed? Because Saturn is now in uh, Shatbisha. So for example, if you are Aries or Taurus and Saturn is your 10th Lord, are you feeling that you are the best in the job? Are you feeling like the king of the world? <laughs> or if you are Capricorn or Aquarius rising, then are you feeling you need to do too many things at a time? Are you feeling that you need to conquer the whole world? The world is not enough. Are you feeling like this? Are you getting overwhelmed? 
I know many Capricorn ascendants. I know many Aquarius ascendants. They are feeling it that way. They are feeling overwhelmed. They are feeling that they are lacking in life. But actually what is happening? Because Rahu is in Shatubisha now. He is giving you this feeling. So don't give in to it. All right. And if you are new to the uh, channel Exotic Astrology, then please... Uh, subscribe to the channel and if you are liking this video hit the thumbs up show your appreciation and if you would like a consultation in your for your overall chart then please go to my website down in the description section and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will see him so therefore when saturn transits starts to transit purva bhadrapada you have to understand that by doing meditation and by doing spiritual practices, you have to calm down the raging mind because the mind, as you know, as Lord Krishna says in the Gita, now, there are two ways to control the mind. One is practice and the other one is detachment. So if you feel the mind is driving you crazy, it's driving you nuts, it's driving you mad. <laughs> which all of us feel at some point in our life, right? Or maybe we feel it every day sometimes. <laughs> Apart from the temporary whims and highs and lows of the mind, if you, if you perpetually feel that you are superior to somebody in some area of life, for example, as I said, if Aries or Taurus, then Saturn as your 10th Lord, you may try to dominate others, you know, crush each other's, other people's opinions, uh, you may try to bully somebody, okay? A person who has a powerful 10th house may sometimes feel he or she is very smart compared to others and then they may bully others for giving their opinions, okay? So, please read more about narcissism. Please check more uh, about narcissism, not to judge others, <laughs> so that you can see and detect these traits within yourself and understand if you are behaving in the right way or not. And the moment you see all this, then you need some <clears throat> Jupiterian personality in your life. Jupiter is the guru, but the guru is also one who will hammer you when you are doing something wrong. Okay, It's like hammering you from the top. <laughs> so, there must be somebody who can check you when you are bullying others or when you are behaving in ways which are not very good. So, Purva Bhadrapada is a very interesting nakshatra because it eventually tells you what you should do in life. So, especially if Saturn is your lord of your Artha houses, like the 6th, 10th and the 2nd, then you will gradually get an understanding within these two years what you should be doing in life. Now, of course, uh, this has to be seen with time, place, circumstances, which means if somebody is uh, nearing the age of 55 or 60 and uh, about to retire, you can't tell them, oh, you are not meant to do this, you know, you should uh, get a new career now. No, it doesn't mean that. But within that job, within that role uh, that the person has, uh, he or she will have something which the person can focus more on, even if the person is about to retire. And uh, it is a very good nakshatra to uh, learn different things, to experiment different things. Uh, but always remember, the planet that is transiting is Saturn. So Saturn will hammer you if you show your arrogance, okay? So you might be very knowledgeable in some field, but uh, that does not mean you should go around uh, showing your arrogance and bully others for for no reason sometimes okay and of course uh, if saturn is lording your 10th house or your lagna or your 11th or even your fifth sometimes you can see that people are challenging you on your opinions very much okay because the lagna fifth 10th 11th shows your opinions so people may say oh i don't agree to what you're saying i disagree to what you're saying so Please learn more about conflict resolution. Do man, do uh, spiritual practices. Chant this mantra. Om Namo Narayanaya. This mantra you should chant to understand more about uh, your own self and to actually find out what you will be good at doing in life. Okay. 
So basically, maintain your calm, uh, be respectful, don't boast around, don't uh, don't abuse around, all right? And if, if you do this eventually, you will be a better person, you will be much more calm and you will learn the traits of Uttar Bhadrapada, which is when you will realize that yes, uh, I can be successful without bullying others. All right. Thank you so much. Please take care.